Watch the Crack. This is Gar, and this is Gar's Wee Beasties. And yeah, we popped on the server and there was a thunderstorm, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, <laughs> do a creepy intro. Because we've made a few changes to the spider. Somebody rightfully pointed out that uh, I had the uh, red shape wrong in the Black Widow. It should be an hourglass, and I had the arrows pointing the opposite way. And I also took on the suggestion of many people to make the eyes red. So let's see if our Chandler pack is properly charged. Oh, you might also notice I'm wearing a solar helmet just to keep that charged a little bit better. Really simple to craft. Let me show you the recipe. If I just, uh, ooh. Ooh. why can't I do that? Let me see if I just so search it here. Solar helmet. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Really simple, iron, solar panel, and uh, solar panel is just that, and we had some coal dust from the time we pulverized it, so it's all pretty really simple. So, yeah, keeps it charged a little bit better, uh, obviously it's not working now because it's night time, but, you know, keeps it going reasonably well during the day. So, I just wanted to show you the few changes I made to the spider before we get to work on a couple of things. Uh, this is going to be much more of a let's play episode than the previous ones, because I need to get to work on some machines and stuff, and... I, yeah, I really want to build this project here, but I'm not going to do that until I have a reasonable set of tools. So we're probably just going to maybe find, maybe, hmm, maybe make a basement or something, or maybe just dig down under here. But anyway, let's show you this first, right? So, we've changed the uh, changed the wool. We've also had to change this to a pipe because, unfortunately, the items just don't, uh, don't work whenever you drop them down just doesn't seem to work seems to always spill out all over the place and doesn't fall uniformly but let's dig down here to show you a really simple setup we got set up and probably actually going to make it even simpler now because I realized something but anyway as you can see string is going in here not for very long it's usually going straight through into here to make the wool and at the moment we've got five stacks of wool so that's working pretty well and as you can see I've just got a simple auto crafting table set up but what we can do is just oh hello nip day why do leaks go all of a sudden what we can do is um actually just move this up and get rid of these engines altogether because the auto crafting table will pull from adjacent inventories and that includes barrels so let's just get rid of this root of wooden pipe uh put the string back in uh get rid of the wooden pipe itself oh there was something in there come on pick up the pipe and let's hopefully we can mine that and it won't cause too much problems there we go and mm, I don't want to move that up. Uh, do I have enough space? Yeah, I do. Let's just break this with our hands, and then it should be fine. Uh, maybe you guys can't see. Let me put down some torches, because I know these videos can get dark sometimes, especially when we're down in areas like this. Come on. There we go. Simple as. Eventually, I'd like to maybe automate this a little bit more with some, uh, you know, dyes. Maybe have a, uh, get a, whatchamacallit on the go, a dark room that generates a lot of the different flowers that turns them into dyes. That would be pretty cool. Um, but anyway, what we're we doing right now, we are setting up the thing. So we want to get one of these wooden pipes down here. And we want to set up a barrel for the wool. And in the auto crafting bench, we want to get some string and draw out the pattern. And put that string back in there. And we're going to start just pumping it. Now, we don't have to power the um, the auto crafting table itself. We just need to power the, whatchamacallit, the wooden pipe beneath it that sucks out. So what's the best way of, got some sandstone here. If I just put a lever here and here, that should, pu no, that wouldn't work. Pu uh, that one will power that too. I mean, to put one adjacent. So let's just put that one there. And let's put the levers on top so it's not quite as ugly. Luckily, redstone engines seem to be working. Come on. Seem to be working fine for pulling this out. And it's already starting to work. Awesome socks. So that should work actually really well. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if whenever we have it on more than once, maybe we'll have to get more than one barrel set up probably will because we've already got five stacks and I haven't been in this area very much so yeah simple really really simple just the way we like it just the way we like it simple and working so as I said before our plan is let me just fly up somewhere nice so we get a good view let's have to get rid of hover mode 
do like this Chandler pack, but it's a little bit difficult to fly in, I must admit. Oh, come on. Oh, there was no point in leaving hover mode. Anyway. Right. I want a big sort of semi-circular modern looking thing here, probably with a tire at one end. So the living center will have a big glass front and be filled with furniture and some nice looking things. The tire will be probably more where I actually work and live. And I'm probably going to put the tire on that mountain, probably meaning I'm probably going to get rid of this mountain. In here we'll have probably some sort of serpent, uh, monster type serpent. I don't know what to do inside that serpent as you know i always like to have uh i always like to have the, i want to i want all these beasts to have a purpose for example over there in the gar zilla we're going to make it a blaze farm and underneath we're going to use the blade we're going to use the blazes to generate power either in just in generators or in something a bit more high tech and then we're going to use those generators to run a one of those uh what are they called lasers you know for making the build craft gates that's what we're going to have there because i think that shape should be about right you know we've got a nice sort of square shape inside the garzilla for doing that i have to dig down a little bit but yeah that's what's going to go there and maybe we could have a quarry working underneath it i don't know we'll have a think about that uh probably not actually so we're going to, so i'm trying to work out the right shape for this but we're also going to need tools now i am constantly plagued by the problem of not wanting to build because I will I know it's only temporary. But I'm really struggling with the fact that I haven't got somewhere. I haven't got stuff to really, really kick it with, you know, tools and charging and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and dig a little bit of an area in here. Just dig it away a little bit. Uh, because one thing that we're probably certain of is that that's going to be a sort of a castle-y, turret -y tirey thing modern looking of course but definitely something's going to be going there probably in a circular shape tire circular tire right there so if we dig out a bit of space we know that we're not going to have to move things too much and that we can at least get something started so we're going to go do that now off camera of course nobody likes to just watch plain old digging but we'll come back whenever all that's set up and we shall hopefully get a couple of machines on the go some genuine power supply power build up that isn't just you know, a generator and a box and stuff. We'll get some proper machines on the go. So, I will see you back in a bit, guys. We have changed our minds. <laughs> we've built, a, we've dug away a little bit of that, not much. And as I was doing it, I was just realizing, God, it's going to suck moving all this over and stuff. So, what I figured was, since we have got a plentiful supply of power over there, and that all we really need is a place to to make drills and power drills and stuff all we really need is ic2 stuff so we're going to build the garzilla that's what we're going to do we're going to build him because we've got the tools to build him we've got the wool production now it's the logical next step uh right so we're going to have to do a couple of things to get that we're going to have to make sure we've got plenty of wool so let's go down and see how this is doing and oh i also forgot to show you guys uh oh not in hover mode that's fine though no. Move the wool. Move the wool into here. So yeah, we've got most wools. I think we've got every wool, actually. One, two, three, four, I think it's 16 or so. I think we've got every wool. Um, what I should probably do is move that up to there, shouldn't I? Move that pipe. Um, should we go do that now? Yeah, I guess we should go do that now. Um, yeah, let's go do that now. So if we get some of these buildcraft pipes, we can go do that. Uh, buildcraft, some of the gold... And we need some more stone. Don't think we have any stone. We can make some stone, can't we? Cobblestone, rather. So we get maybe, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 11, 12, 12, 12. <laughs> That was just a random number. How much was that? 14. Awesome. Uh, should be enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ah, we knew we'd miscounted. Okay. And we need... I can never remember which way it goes. I can never remember which way it goes. I think it's more cobble than gold. More, yeah, so we'll just do that. 48 should be enough. Uh, 56 should really be enough. So that should be fine. We've got the gold. Let's get a redstone torch to power that up. And what else do we need? I think that's it think that's it yeah let's go let's go do this 
quickly just dig away a little path and well let's do it do the mixture of ways let's do it this way sort of where we go down and know where the white one is okie dokie so yeah let's go down a bit more and go forward and I hopefully we'll find it hopefully oh what's this oh just another part of the torch that I've uh, another part of the the tree that I've lit up um, that's okay we don't need to worry about this we should probably go run down some more actually yeah dig that out uh, digging and preparation so a couple of things we need to talk about with regards to the Garzilla we're gonna need a lot of orange dye we got we're getting to, to pretty close in the wool but we're gonna need some orange dye I'm just guessing where this is by the way I should probably should have made a waypoint that would have been a good way of doing it wouldn't it um, I just dig down here. Yeah, that's more or less a straight line. I'm I'm kind of going more or less the right way. Uh, we okay for going down a level? Nah, I think we're okay here. We don't need to go down a level. We just stick around this level. We should be fine. We're going to need to make one of those dark rooms. Um, I think that would be a decent way of doing it. A dark room would allow us to generate a lot of different um, a lot of different flyers and with those flyers the dies and the minimum stone will allow us to travel to make most dies you know be okay so like uh, we can make most most dies out of the dies that we have so what we're going to do is we're going to break this guy six stacks okay uh, are we still getting them good yeah okay and we're going to put a st stone 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 um stone <laughs> I don't know why I'm debating this so much. I just basically want to make sure that we've got a pirate one somewhere. So if I put a torch there and a piece of sandstone on top of that, that sandstone block will be powered, meaning that this gold pipe will be powered. Um, which should speed it up a bit. Just good to have things sped up. And can I, if we do it like, you know, does it work like sort of powered rail if I just put two there? Eh, yeah, well, whatever. I've got plenty of gold pipe. Should be fine. Should be fine. Oh, don't want to do that. Go and pick it up. And this is where having a jetpack is very handy. We should start seeing some of that stuff come in. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the wool in here. We've got lots of that now, which is good. We're going to just leave that hole. Well, let's just do that, I guess. And let's just go make sure that we're getting some wool going through that pipe. Because we might not be, because, you know, Minecraft's weird. We're still getting the string coming down. Why is no wool coming out of that, then? Well, it seems to be. Hmm. String is going in there and then immediately coming out of there. And we're getting some wool going through. Awesome. Not quite as fast as I remember it being, but sure, whatever. We don't need it to be. Oh, okay, awesome. I'm getting a bit more used to this uh, um, with, moving without hover mode, which is actually being pretty beneficial in terms of, uh, you know, not not in terms of you know speed getting around places faster and stuff so I'm just balancing that out a bit so what we're going to do we're going to go make a dark room we're going to make it nine by nine so what's that nine by nine is 81 blocks of dirt I think we're going to need oh hope that didn't just pop out did it now we're fine we're going to go clear up and we're going to Go make ourselves a dark room and get lots of dyes. So, all right, guys, I'll be back with you when I've got a lot of stuff together. Okay, guys, so there's a few things we're going to craft. We're going to craft ourselves with a dispenser, which I think we can do. Uh, toolbox. we got a bow. Hmm, it's broken. But I think we can just craft ourselves a bow. We've got some string somewhere, don't we? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. That should be fine. Get some sticks and some redstone. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we can use this dispenser to make ourselves a, uh, oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can I reach it? Good. 
pretty sure we can use this dispense this dispenser to dispense a water bucket. I'm pretty God, I always get it the wrong way around, don't I? No. We just need one more string. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can use this dispenser to dispense a water bucket. We're gonna need two. We're gonna need two dispensers, meaning we're gonna need two bows. One, two, three. Okay, awesome. And one, two, three string. Should be fine. Because I've got a, I've got an idea as to slightly automate this. Not nothing, not to make it like crazy or anything. Just to, uh, what the hell is that? Fuse, interesting. Just to make it a bit more easy for ourselves. Um, a bit more easy for ourselves. What the hell does that even mean? Um, I need to get myself some armor. I keep taking damage every time that happens. We're gonna need to make ourselves a piston too, a sticky piston if possible. I think I should have some pistons lying around actually. Um, nope. Okay, let's make these de these deployers. Now, this is a completely vanilla item that I haven't. I don't even know if I've ever crafted this in real life. I've played with them, played about with them, but I think that was um in creative mode. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was in creative mode. But let me just double check that they work in deploying water. Now, I hope that's not like a really recent change. I know it's a change, but I don't think it's that recent. I got that grass, by the way, by using my minium stone on some cobble, because we actually don't have that much dirt, which is interesting enough. And I am starving. IRL and in Minecraft. Always eat your apples, guys. Really good source of... Goodness. <laughs> I'm a doctor, didn't you know? <laughs> anyway, let's just make sure this works. So we're going to put in the bucket... And we're going to get a lever. Come on, lever. You will do. And we're going to test this out. Hopefully it works. Yeah, it did. And come on. There we go. Awesome. So a button would probably be better. But we just wanted to make sure it worked. We've got the uh, thing still in there, so that's fine. Basically just going to use this to help us... Um, you know, get a get get a uh, get them get the stuff out again whenever we, whenever we're finished deploying. So we need a piston plus a slime ball. Do we have a piston about? I'm sure we have a piston somewhere. Red pyre. No. What was these again? Are these were those transposers? Okay. Uh, piston. Nope. Okay, I can remember to make a piston, can't I? Yeah, of course I can. We only need one. Uh, one, two, three. Got the cobble. Need a redstone and an iron. An iron. Uh, here we go. Doing all right for iron. Uh, just kind of short of nine stacks. That's it's not perfect. We're gonna go through a lot of iron in the future, but it's it's not bad. Um, okay, so wood like this. Cobblestone. I'm pretty sure it's cobble, not. Um, Smooth stone it is. Got some slime balls here. Slime balls are a lot easier to come across now since we've added more creatures in because we get those goddamn awful slime zombie horses which drop slimes every time they die. And we're good to go. Uh, I'm going to use some red olive wire if I have enough of it. And I should do. That should be enough. Let's make some more. You can never have too much. Is that not how you do it? Or is it vertically? It's always vertically. Red pyre, why are you so weird? Okay, so it's in the middle of the night and we're going to go build. <laughs> Yay! Hopefully that's reasonably lit up so we shouldn't get too many evil, evil spawns. Come on. Okay, guys, I'll be right back whenever I've built this. It's a really simple setup, so I'll just explain it afterwards. That's very weird. <gasps> it's because you can only go into the top of a barrel. Oh my god. Gar. You muppet. Okay. Hopefully it'll work now. Let's just make sure it goes up. We can see the actual count go up. It did. It went from 61 to 62 there, didn't it? 62 to 63. Okay, we're getting it. We're, we're getting there. Need to purify there a little bit more, but we should be fine. <laughs>